Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you some pretty cool tips and add-ons that will allow you to really improve your 3D modeling speed and your overall workflow. So without further ado, let's get started. The first tip I have for you is to use add-ons. The first one is Hardops. It has a powerful mirror feature that it is easier to understand and to use than the default Blender mirror modifier. You just have to click on the handles. It creates a modifier in the modifier panel. Press Ctrl A to apply. Hardops has a radial array feature. I already made a tutorial where I show you two ways to make a radial array. You can check it out if you didn't see it. Press Q, Mesh tool and radial array. Move your mouse to adjust the displacement and roll your mouse wheel to increase or reduce the number of copies. Now let's talk about the taper feature. It allows you to stretch or squash your mesh while keeping a very smooth result. It creates a lattice modifier, apply it with Ctrl A. Hardops has a curve extract feature if you want to make pipes or cylindrical details very quickly. Press Shift G to open the Select Similar menu, then choose Length, then press Q and choose Curve Extract. Move your mouse to adjust the thickness of the curves, press left click, and you can still adjust the thickness by going to the curve panel. Now let's talk about the Clean Mesh feature. It's very helpful when you have a very bad topology. It allows you to instantly dissolve every edges or vertices and it keeps the original shape. Press Q, Operations and choose Clean Mesh. If you download a 3D model with a bad topology, it's very useful to clean it. Next we have the Polygon Debug. Press Q, Operations and choose Polygon Debug. It allows you to instantly see if you have angles or triangles. If the model is white, then every polygons are quads. If a polygon turns red, then you have an N-Gon. And if it turns yellow, then you have some triangles. The second add-on is Mesh Machine. It has a flatten feature that I always use in my projects. If you want to flatten some polygons in the direction of a polygon's normal, all you have to do is to select every polygons and the last one of your selection has to be the one with the right angle. Press Y to open the Mesh Machine menu and choose Flatten. By default, it dissolves the edges. To bring them back, press D. Unfuck. Let's say that you have to make a big inset and you get some intersecting edges. This is why Unfuck is useful. Select the intersecting edges. Then press Y and choose Unfuck. Move your mouse to the right and let the magic happen. You can do Boolean operations with Mesh Machine. Press Y and choose Booleans. And you can change the Boolean mode by rolling your mouse wheel. It's super fast and easy. The Mesh Machine Mirror feature is quicker than the Hardops one because it doesn't even create a mirror modifier. You just have to press Alt-X and move your mouse in the direction of the axis that you want. The third add-on is Quad Remesher. It's a very useful add-on when you want to retopologize a model very quickly. You can choose the amount of polygons and click on Remesh. It's going to turn your model into an all quads model. The results are usually very good, but sometimes the edge flow needs to be adjusted manually. Tip number two, learn the shortcuts. Press Ctrl B to make a bevel, P to adjust the profile, and press A to adjust the size of the bevel. If your bevel intersects with itself, press C to make it stop when the edges meet. Press K to select it, then press C to cut through the whole mesh, and you can press A to make a straight line. Press Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus on your numpad. Sometimes it's easier to make selection like this. Subdivision surface modifier and spherify. To add a subdivision surface modifier, press Ctrl 1, 2, 
3 and so on. When you apply it on a cube, it turns it into a sphere, but it's not really a sphere. That's why Spherify is useful. Press Alt Shift S and look what happens. Now the sphere is perfect. Triangulate faces and trees to quads. When you have a big circle or end gone, what you can do to turn it into quads is to delete it and bridge. Or you can triangulate it with Ctrl T, then turn all the triangles into quads with Alt J. To make quicker selections, you can use seams. Select your edge loops. Then right click and choose make seam. That way you can select a complex area with just one single button. You just have to press L on the selected island and it works with multiple UV islands. You can also deselect them by using Shift L. When you bridge two edges, you can make a rounded bridge if you set the interpolation to blend surface and increase the number of cuts. You can use Checker Deselect to create different selection patterns. Press O to activate proportional editing. When you move your vertices, it can affect the geometry of other meshes if they are too close to each other. To avoid that, click on Connected Only. That way, it affects only the selected mesh. You can also change the falloff type to get different results. You can use vertex groups to store selections and quickly access them. Select some vertices, edges or faces, then click on the object data properties and click on the plus icon to create a new vertex group. Then click on assign, that way your selection is stored and you can access it if you click on select. It's useful when you have lots of polygons selected. If you want to align two objects, you can use the 3D cursor and a rotation constraint. Select the cube and add a copy rotation constraint, then pick the plane. Apply the constraint with Ctrl A. Select the face of the cube that will be aligned with the plane. Then move the 3D cursor with Shift S and drag your mouse to the bottom. Then click on Move Origin to 3D cursor. Move the 3D cursor back to the plane. Select the cube and move the selection to the 3D cursor with Shift S and move your mouse to the top. You can align the rotation of the cone onto the surface of the sphere. To do that, select the cone, put its origin to the bottom, activate face project and select center. Now you can press G and move the cone to the sphere. And you can duplicate it. It will always be aligned to the normals of the sphere. You should rename your meshes because if you have hundreds of the same model, you can quickly see where they are in the outliner. You can batch rename multiple objects at once by pressing Ctrl F2 and add the name that you want. You can also select by material. If you want to select the red cubes, select one of them, then press Shift L in object mode and choose material. What I did to save some time was to make my own custom shortcuts. That way, I have almost every useful shortcut on the left side of my keyboard. For example, the Connect Vertex Path, the default shortcut is J. I changed it to Alt Z and I also added some shortcuts to the buttons of my gaming mouse. I have the Logitech 502, it has 5 buttons on it and I added my quick favorites to one of them. You can put everything into your quick favorites menu. That way, with just one button, you can access every features that you always use. For example, solidify, shrink wrap, or you can also add a cube, a cylinder, a plane, or a constraint and so on. To open the quick favorite menu, you just have to press Q. 
If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. I will see you in the next one. Bye.